Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Keurig K-Duo Plus. I've already reviewed the K-Duo and if you want to see that review, I'll put a link right below this video. This new Duo Plus allows you to make a carafe of coffee using your own ground coffee or a cup of coffee using pods. You can also brew a single cup using your own ground coffee with the Keurig Universal Filter. I've done a review on how to use this filter. If you want to see that, I'll put a link right below this video. This unit is 14.9 inches in height. If you lift the handle, the height is 17 and a half inches. So you do have to pull it out from underneath your cabinets. 7.6 inches wide and 15.9 inches deep if the water reservoir is in the back. If the water reservoir is on the side like this, it'll be 11.7 inches deep and the width will be 8.2 inches. The water reservoir can be placed on the right, left or back of the brewer. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. The brewer is 11 pounds and the carafe is just under two pounds. The cord length is 39 inches. The unit comes with a quick start guide. The thermal carafe is stainless steel and holds 12 cups. It'll keep coffee warm for two hours. Standard coffee makers are five ounces for each cup. The water reservoir holds 60 ounces. It's removable. There's a filter and a holder included with this unit. If you're using filtered water, then you don't need to use the included filter. If you are using this filter, soak it for five minutes, then rinse for a minute, press and remove the bottom. You can put the filter in here, close it, and it fits right in the center of the reservoir. Put the filter in and then fill your reservoir with water. There's a max line here of 12 cups. To use the universal filter, you have to take the pod holder out first. As far as I can see, there is no way to put my hand in there and push the pot holder up. So take the drawer out. The whole thing pulls out. This is kind of a ridiculous way to get the pot holder out, but um, put your finger in the slot and you'll feel the pot holder's bottom. Just push it up and it'll come up. And then this goes in. Slide the drawer back when you're done. With the drip tray in place, you have seven and a quarter inches to place a cup. Slide the drip tray out and you'll have eight inches for a travel mug. The drip tray holds about eight ounces of overflow. On the top of the Keurig, you have the power button. Adjust the time by using the hour and minute buttons. When you're ready to set the time, Press the big K in the middle. Add water will flash when you need to add more water to the reservoir. If you want to program the unit to brew a carafe at a certain time, use the auto button. You can set it 24 hours in advance. The strong button you can use with the carafe side or the single serve side. It just takes a bit longer to brew to give you a stronger cup of coffee. When you're ready to brew coffee, choose carafe or pod and then choose your cup size six, eight, 10, or 12 ounces. And then press the big K in the middle, that's the brew button. When you press brew, the water heats and coffee brews when the water's ready. That's the smart start feature, so you don't have to press a separate button to start brewing after the water's done heating, like some other Keurig models. There is an auto off feature. The unit will shut off five minutes after the last brew. I'll show you how to move the water reservoir. It can be placed on the right, left, or back of the brewer. There are magnets on both sides of the reservoir, that attach to the unit. Unplug the unit, remove the drip tray and turn the unit over. You see there's a little arrow here and a tab here and a little arrow here and a tab here. So you want to move this part to either the back here or the side here. So before you move this, you have to remove this tab or this tab depending on where you want to move it. Just make sure the cord is out of the way. Let's say you want to move the reservoir behind the Keurig. Just press this tab. and pull up. It will just snap off sometimes. It's, it's a little difficult to pull up. There's a button and an arrow here. Push the button and just slide this forward. It'll lift up and you can just swing it around. Slide it back and you'll hear that lock. Make sure you snap the tab back on after you're done moving it. 
Although it's annoying to do, you only have to do it once because you're not going to be moving the reservoir all the time. It is a nice option to have because if you don't have much counter space, you can save a couple of inches by putting this in the back instead of the side. When you turn over the unit and leave it on your counter, put the cord in the slot here. This way the Keurig will stay flat on the counter instead of on the cord. Here's how it attaches to the back. When you first get the unit, wash all the parts in warm soapy water, rinse it and dry it. Before you brew coffee, you have to run a cycle of water through the carafe side and the single serve side. Fill the reservoir to the max line. We'll do the single serve side first. Put a cup on the drip tray. It should hold at least 12 ounces. Don't put any pods in here, it should be empty. Power on. Choose pod, eight ounces, and the big K to brew. The first time you heat, it takes about four minutes. The indicator light pulses when the water's heating, and when the water's ready, it'll be solid. It's finished brewing, now we can discard the water. Between cycles, it'll take about a minute to heat up the water. Now we can do the carafe side. Choose carafe. Eight. And brew. The cycle's finished, now we can discard the water in the carafe. Now we can brew coffee. Here's the basket and the included gold tone filter. This is reusable. If you want to use paper filters instead, you can do that. Just use the 12 cup size. I'm going to brew six cups of coffee. Use a tablespoon per cup. Just even it out. I fill the reservoir back up to the max line. Choose carafe. Six for the six cups. And the K for brew. While the coffee's brewing, if you can't wait to have your cup, you can pull the carafe out, pour out your cup, and then put the carafe back in. Just make sure you put the carafe back within 20 seconds. Cycle's done. That took about five minutes. Steaming hot, almost 180 degrees. Pours nicely without any dripping. Smells really good. It's hot and tastes just like any other uh, curry cup of coffee. Using the one tablespoon of coffee per cup is perfect for me. It's full flavored, it's not weak at all. It is a really good cup of coffee. Empty the filter and discard the coffee. Wash the filter out and the basket. After two hours, the temperature of the coffee in the thermal carafe is 140 degrees. coffee still tastes good and it's hot. Of course it's not extremely hot like it was two hours ago but it's still at a drinkable temperature. If you want to try out this K-Duo Plus I've put a link right below this video. Next I'll brew a single cup of coffee. Choose single serve and I'll brew eight ounces of coffee. Press brew It took just 45 seconds. The temperature is just about the same as the carafe. My cup is cold, it was sitting in my cabinet. The carafe, I had brewed hot water in it before, so the carafe was already hot. So there's gonna be a little bit of variation in the temperature. The coffee tastes the same, just like other Keurig models. 
After brewing on the single side, remove the pod. If you're using hot cocoa or non-coffee pod, run a cycle with just hot water to clean the needle. None of the parts are dishwasher safe. Hand wash the carafe, lid, drip tray, filter basket, and filter with warm soapy water, rinse and dry. The reservoir and lid can also be hand washed. Just don't use a cloth to clean the inside because lint could stay in there. Put the pot holder back when you're done cleaning. The only part I don't like is to have to open the filter basket side after you remove the pod. To get the holder out. Besides that little annoyance, it seems like a good unit. It's pretty slim while brewing a carafe and a single cup. If you want to try out this K Duo Plus, I've put a link right below this video. I hope you found this review helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up.